start with my headline tonight. I'm retiring. This is the last hardball on MSNBC. And obviously, this isn't for lack of interest in politics. As you can tell, I've loved every minute of my 20 years as host of Hardball. Every morning I read the papers, and I'm gung-ho to get to work. Not many people have had this privilege. I love working with my producers and the discussions we have over how to report the news. And I love having this connection with you, the good people who watch. I've learned who you are, bumping into you on the sidewalk or at waiting at an airport and saying hello. You're like me. I hear it from your kids and grandchildren who say my dad loves you or my grandmother loves you or my husband watched it till the end. Well, after a conversation with MSNBC, I decided tonight will be my last hardball, so let me tell you why. The younger generations out there are ready to take the reins. We see them in politics, in the media, in fighting for their causes. They are improving the workplace. We're talking here about better standards that we grew up with, fair standards. A lot of it has to do with how we talk to each other. Compliments on a woman's appearance that some men, including me, might have once incorrectly thought were okay. We're never okay. Not then and certainly not today. Ah, oh, 2020. For making such comments in the past, I'm sorry. You can't even I'm tell a woman. Great ass! Before I went on television, I worked for years in politics. Was a newspaper columnist. Poor Chris. I'm working on another. Can't even whip his dick out That's and do his Scarface impression and say, Say hello to my law firm! And my MSNBC colleagues. They will continue to produce great journalism in the years ahead. And for those of you who have gotten into the habit of watching Hardball every night, I hope you're going to miss me because I'm going to miss you. But remember... Damn, political correctness to took down another one. Hardball. So let's not say goodbye, but till we meet again. And nice tits, lady.